Recent comments by PMP candidate for East Portland, Damian Crawford, about his opponent, Amory Vaz, um, have brought the spotlight squarely on an issue that, for the most part, has been swept under the carpet. But are we making much ado about the situation? How much of an issue is classism in Jamaica, if at all? We've got with us Dr. Christopher Charles, political psychologist and senior lecturer in political psychology at the UWI Department of Government. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Dr. Charles, so it started a debate. People are saying, no, so there's no classism in Jamaica. Some are saying, yes, yes, there's a lot of it. What is your opinion? <laughs> classism, you or me? Um, classism exists mm -hmm. in Jamaica, racism as well, and it's, and it's derivative, colorism. Um, what I hear people saying is that we should get beyond it, not get beyond it in the society in terms of how we relate to each other, but get Accept beyond it in it terms of we shouldn't raise those issues mm -hmm. um, in an election campaign. But I, 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 I don't share that view, and I don't share that view for several reasons. The political class in Jamaica, it, you know, it's homogenous. They're all friends. And they go very hard at each other during the election campaign to get electoral advantage. But that's the only reason why they don't hate each other. They're, going, they're friends. They're still I hear friends. That all the time. And they're going to remain friends. So I'm not going to become fixated on utterances mm -hmm. in a campaign. So let, let me explain further. There's nothing that was said in, 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 in the speech that can tell me definitively if, 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 if that Damon is a misogynist. Okay. I, I would have to look at what he has said over time in his public and private life about women and how he has treated women in his public and private life over time. Jamaica is a small society, and, we, and, 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 and if he is, we would know. Mm. There's so, nothing so that, that, that look, does not finish the point, just quickly. There's nothing in this statement that can tell me definitively if Anne-Marie Vaz um, discriminates against people. I have no evidence that she has been doing this. I'd have to look at what she has been doing over time in, in, in East Portland. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, I, I find it surprising that people are fixated on the statements, especially when they are friends, and they are going to remain friends, and we, we're not looking at their behavior and utterance over time. We're just looking at it in the campaign. In that one instance. What's yes. about, what about perception being reality? You're speaking to the masses, you're speaking to a group of, a group of potential voters who do not have the kind of um, backstory or... or um, ability to, to really? look at the nuances as you do, who would hear Damon Crawford on a stage saying that Mr. Vaz, um, Mr. Vaz is Mr. Portland, and by virtue of, of running really kind of on Mr. Vaz's popularity, you know, Mrs. Vaz is really running for Miss, Miss Portland, and that's pretty much the furthest she will get. You don't understand how somebody could get, you know, a, a bad taste in their mouth from well, the a comment like that? Well, um, there are, I have many colleagues at the university who share the view you are taking. I don't share their view because the people who they are claiming to speak on behalf, they are the ones who experience classism daily in their lives in Jamaica. They are the ones who experience colorism, right? Why do you think so many, so many Jamaicans bleach? It, is it because everything is okay in terms of skin color? No. They believe that we give advantage to people of light skin. This has nothing to do with Anne Marina, because I don't have her as, as being um, disp um, disc discriminated against anyone. I'm just saying that issues are real, and that it, they're, 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 the people sometimes, they're, they're more sophisticated than we give them credit for, not because they might not be formally educated. They have common sense, and, and they can see through what is being said. Mm. Is that a common... Is that a common error we make? Because sometimes I think even the way we, we speak on the campaign trail or even the way people who don't live in a, in a constituency mm. tend to judge the people in that constituency. Do we not give the Jamaican electorate enough credit? Uh, uh, no, we, we don't yeah. give them. And that is why sometimes as political scientists, as poor as as forecasters, we, you can get it wrong sometimes. Mm -hmm. You really, really have to get into the, the minds of the people. And I, 
I find the Jamaican voters very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Some of them might not have degrees. I yeah. might not have finished school, but they are not, they are not fools. Mm. They don't have the language that we because, think they should have, but they understand yeah, it. They are political, they are political education, they, they understand the issues. Because mm -hmm. you don't need a degree to understand how things are impacting your life. Right. It's interesting you say that, because sometimes I say to people, I think the grassroots people understand politics and how to make it work for them better than we do. Yes, I mean, they take what they can get in the mm. short term, yeah. in the election. Yeah. But they know for sometimes, in, in, from, from their point of view, not, not much else happens after, mm -hmm. so they take what they can get. Yeah. But, but they still vote for who they want to vote for. Because well, of what they can get in the short term? Or um, is there not an inextricable link? But the, yeah. See, they are very rational. And they are looking practical. around. And they are practical and looking at what has been happening. If you look at rural constituencies, in terms of infrastructure, um, not as well developed mm. infrastructurally as urban constituencies. So they know these things. And they're going to look, um, if, should I vote for the opposition? Should I vote for the incumbent if, if I vote for the government? Um, what will benefit uh, me? It will benefit more at least the, the, the country, the resources of the state. They look at all these things. Yeah. So we have to be careful that we do not think that because we have been, we have been to school much longer than some people, that they don't understand the issues. Mm. Or, that, or that the utterances, as you're saying, the one-off, will determine how they vote as well. Well, a lot of the people who are upset yeah. are not going to vote in East Portland, and colorism and classism is real. Let me just mix it up a bit. Look at Portia Simpson Miller. Mm. If you look at the, the PNP internal elections in which she was a part, worse things were said about her by members of her party. When it became um, national elections, the, 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 the members of the JLP said similar things uh, uh, about her. Um, the question then we have to ask ourselves as a country, were it is, um, did we um, feel the same way mm -hmm. about that as we feel yeah, about no. the situation? And I see people drawing a lot of parallels with the two. You see, you see parallels there? Um, what the, the issue with production family reminds me of is that the two major political parties, their classes, and colorism exists. The brown people in the two parties, they display colorism. And, 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 and the people who have means and wealth from a certain historical and social location, they also discriminate. It is common in both parties. And that is why, um, that is why um, in internal elections, um, she was framed that way mm -hmm. by her opponents. And then on the national stage, she was also framed uh, in a similar way by the Jamaica oh, Labour Party. I calculated. Mm -hmm. I like how you say framed. Some people, mm -hmm. I, I want to talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. that because it's, it, it is deliberate. Um, and I want to define a little more what colorism is for people who may not mm -hmm. understand. But a lot of people are saying that it's disingenuous of, of Crawford to have gone to a classism issue because... He's, Are these a people voting? he's a man of means. No, I'm just telling mm -hmm. you what I've heard. I've heard him in mm -hmm. interviews and I've heard that point put to him to say you may have started at a particular point, but you beat the odds. You are now a, 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 a well-accomplished businessman. You're a very influential figure in the, in the People's National Party, perhaps the most popular candidate now. How can you speak to discrimination when you are, a, you know, you've, you've, you've gone through the ranks and now you're at the top? But I've heard... Mrs. Simpson Miller, when she was Prime Minister, saying how she was characterized, or they call her name, Lucretia. And they used um, um, the nation language, or so of my colleague called her Patwa, as most of us call it, to, to, to pronounce her name, her middle name, and uh, how cartoons characterize her. Mm -hmm, yeah. And there was some inside the party, outside the party, view her. What she was alluding to was the fact that, yes, I'm a woman and I'm Prime Minister but I'm facing um, classism and colorism inside the party mm -hmm. and outside. Okay. So one of the mm -hmm. things I'm hearing you say, Dr. Charles, is classism is, is such an issue in Jamaica that it's difficult to, to overcome it. It's difficult to believe that because I'm from a particular <clears throat> class, because I, I, I'm, I'm, I now have access to wealth or I have access to power, that classism will still not be something that I will, I will face yeah, that is true. Um, once you have, once you, once you experience social mobility, that means you move up the, yeah. the ladder of mm -hmm. social class, mm -hmm. yeah. and you, 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 you have wealth. Um, there will be access, and you have access to people. 
but will they will some people truly embrace you as one of them right. no mm. because of how how Jamaica as a society was created historically yeah um, some people are not and going politically. to politically they're not going to embrace you so you'll have means more than the rest of us and you'll have access but you will truly never be one of them Mm -hmm. But if you're popular with the masses, as, as Portia Simpson Miller was, mm -hmm. then you can get to the absolute top, whether the party will embrace you or no. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you will have access and you can do great things, but um, some of the people who are offended by these statements will never, will never embrace you. One of, the, one of the things I've argued elsewhere is that you have to understand political framing. And a frame is a really a cognitive construct that you use to define someone as you wish others to see them. Correct. And they're framing in terms of sexuality, yeah. and you have to come out and, and defend it as credentials and, 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 and so on. Um, they, they frame the, um, the current prime minister as being dishonest mm -hmm. when they're asking questions about how so they asked it. They framed him as being dishonest, and we have no evidence that he was dishonest in relation to the house. Mm. So they use these cognitive devices to create a, a cognitive bias. So mm. when, when, you, when, 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 you, when, when they say the word, or the phrase about the person, it triggers a, a, a lot of negative responses, um, um, in your mind, in a mind mm -hmm. about the person. Mm -hmm. And I've said elsewhere that it is a common political strategy using all modern liberal democracies: Scour, Germany, France, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, US, Israel. Trump is US, using it right now. Just <laughs> look at election. Election campaigns are not prayer meetings, you know, they're not church services. Mm -hmm. People are going to go hard. And this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. and, but, but we get fixated on these issues, yeah. like the one statement, where I look at their record on these issues over time. We're getting the rap, but are, mm -hmm. we, are we fixated on it or are we trying to fix it? Because what I'm hearing you say is, are there persons who understand that this is a framing and, are, and in their response to Crawford, are trying to reframe it yes. in a different way, and yeah. that's what, and thus the fixation. Yes, the, the, the strategy by the Jamaica Labour Party, and I think brilliantly so, yeah. was to say he doesn't respect women. Right. It's International Women's Day and the, the week of and so on. So every every chance he he got to speak publicly, he had to be defending himself. So so he, he had less time to talk about his mm -hmm. platform. It's all political mm -hmm. strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's but a, it's a, it's a but the issues that they manling are real for. Yes. For, for Jamaicans. Right. Yeah. Got it. Colorism. Quickly. Yeah. Colorism is really an, an ideology or that, 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 that tells you um, to discriminate against people based on their skin color. Mm. So racism is the ideology where you discriminate based on race. Yes. Colorism is the is, 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 is color or the connection or the descendant of that where you discriminate, discriminate against people based on their skin color or complexion. Mm -hmm. complexion. Because yeah. well, sometimes we think the colour is also the class where you come from too. But you, so you, you can have the colour you have no money, no money. or no education yeah, and, yeah. and you remain poor. Yeah. So, so you have really to look at how the things come see. together. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Fascinating discussion. I could talk to Dr. Charles all morning, but we have to go. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate Thanks for having it. me. Political psychologist, Dr. Christopher Charles. Um, so much more to talk about. But yeah. And it. to understand mm -hmm. these discussions mm -hmm. are important in the Jamaican society. Yes. Yeah. Soon come.